folks, my name is Spice, this is Spice Camp Fish. Today, we are out at a couple of little ponds that are a little bit north of me. I fished these ponds a couple of times last year. I found them last year, and then I fished them like four or five times. But I haven't been down here at all this year. It's now finally May. I'm hoping these fish should be up a little bit shallower. He's getting ready to spawn. Hopefully, they're gonna be feeding up a little bit. It's a little bit windy, as you guys can probably tell, so hopefully there's gonna be a good moving by going. It is currently 11.41 in the morning. I am the only one out here right now. I've given myself a few hours just to get out and take a break, go do a little bit of fish and get some fresh air. But yeah, I'm gonna get a few rods rigged up, get down to the pond, and uh, we'll see if we can get on a few bass. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's start with this little swim bait, a little underspin. See if I can pick up some fish along this weed edge. A little pump over here too, which looks like it's kind of blown over a little bit. So, uh, might be some fish hanging around there. Well, we'll see. I feel like these fish should also be getting ready to spawn, so might have to keep an eye out along the bank, see if we can see any early spawners up there. Either just some small males on the bed or something like that. Oh, I just had a fish right there. Dang. Okay, so maybe they'll eat this one, babe. I'm gonna try a little wacky rig for a sec. All right, so these are gonna be my two options. I could either wacky rig this little watermelon red stick bait, or I could Nico rig this little taper worm. Uh, I think I might start with the taper one, just because the water is a little bit dingy. Uh, yeah. Might switch up to that watermelon red if we don't find them responding to that. They might also just want that wacky rig approach over that Nico rig. But we'll try them both. See what's up. But I feel like there has to be some fish up here along this little windblown bank somewhere. I don't know if they're necessarily super super active or if they're super super big, but Hopefully if there's any in the area, they're gonna wanna try and eat this little thing. It's a pretty subtle approach, but it's also kind of a standout-ish color, so hopefully the two of those will kind of contrast each other in a way that results in a bite. Oh yeah. First cast. Oh, I lost him, god dang it. I got bit first cast though. Look at that, yeah, he balled up my worm. Son of a nutcracker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so maybe Nico rig. <laughs> maybe black and blue is the way to go. Make that same cast a little bit further down. See what's up. Okay, well that's a good sign. I think I got bumped on that next cast too, so keep throwing this around a little bit. Yep, there's a bite. He's got it. Little dude. Ate a little Nico rig. Huh. First one of the day, a little tiny guy. But he ate the old Nico rig. All right, bud. A nice little guy. Got him right in the corner of the mouth like you want him. Oh, these hooks are freaking good. Later, bud. Is he good? I don't see him anymore. I think he's okay. <laughs> Did he get stuck in the weeds right there? I don't know. I think he's fine. <laughs> I think he just disappeared into the weeds. That was crazy. Okay. Let's get another one. First cast with the crawl. Okay, there we go. That'll do, that's a better fish too. <laughs> All right. Number two on the old crawl tube. Let's go, baby. A little bit better than the first one. I'll take that for sure. Later, dude. 
That was freaking sweet. Switched over to this craw because that little Nico or not Nico rig, right? that little shaky head was getting caught in the grass a little bit too much. And first cast over there, I got bit. I thought I was stuck in some grass. I was like going to pop it, and then I felt it tick, and I was like, huh, that's kind of strange. This is just the Chomper's craw tube. It's the I want to say it's magic swirl color. It's like a blue craw. I'll leave a link down in the description. You guys know how we do it. But for right now, I'm going to get back to fishing. See if there's more than just that one over there. This is the first time I've ever thrown these little choppers craw tubes. I'm trying to experiment with a lot of new baits this year. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying a lot of new baits just to kind of, you know, expand my horizons, at least soft plastics wise. And uh, one of the baits that I have almost no confidence in is a tube. So I picked up these chompers. Actually, I think my buddy Joe picked them out for me. And uh, yeah, they've just been kind of sitting around. They smell like an Italian dude's butthole, but apparently they get bit. So I'm gonna throw them around for the rest of the day, I think. They seem pretty durable too. I mean, most tubes are pretty durable, but they seem fairly durable got a few bites on them so far haven't really torn them up all that much i like them Freaking reels locked up. The reels locking up. Oh, it feels a little better. God, that was so weird. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Holy crap! Oh yeah, a oh, pound and a half guy. Let's freaking go. Oh, nice. Fish number three on the old chompers, right in the corner of the mouth. Man, he's got a buggered up lip. He's been caught a bunch. My bad, buddy. I didn't mean to add to your troubles. But I am going to take a picture of you. <laughs> All right, little buddy. Appreciate the bite. Later. Oh, man. He's stuck here in the weeds. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think he's good. I think he found his way through. Okay. I think he made his way out of there. The fish was, like, stuck up in this grass mat. It's so thick. Okay. Note to self, throw them out a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It was like the fourth or fifth bite on this little craw tube. Second fish. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'm going to tighten up the drag a little bit on this one because the drag seemed like it wasn't working too good. This reel is seriously dying on me. Definitely going to have to uh, replace it at some point pretty soon. Ooh, another one. Another guy. There we go. That guy was way closer. All right. Little dude. And they are loving this little craw tube. And I am loving it too. Man, look at the chompers on that guy. Huh? Chomper? Get it? Because it's the chompers craw tube. <laughs> nice. Another little dude. They're real pale in here. They're usually a little bit nicer colored, at least in this spot. Later, bud. Make sure he gets out here. There's no way he was cutting through this stuff that other one couldn't. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's just not a lot of grass in here yet. The water again is down quite a bit. You can see where the water level normally is and uh, it is not quite there yet. Uh, we are having a little bit of a drought right now, but hopefully, hopefully it'll fill up fairly soon. Maybe, possibly. I will definitely be coming up here again in the future to, uh, check out this little pond because i do like this little spot it's pretty cool and my buddy lives over here in this little neighborhood so we will definitely be getting out with him at some point he was working today unfortunately also can we just say still the same craw tube still ready to go i think i could probably get another fish out of it it's getting a little beat up at this point but i think we should be able to get at least one more on it Oh, 
nice one. Oh lord, that's a big fish. Oh Christ. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> On the craw tube. That's like a two pounder. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're rocking with. 229 for the first. Nice fish of the day. I'll take that. I almost said first fish of the day. I think this is the fifth one, actually. I'm doing pretty good today. I'll take that. All right, girl. Have a good spring. Later. Oh, yeah, dude. Having a great day so far on this little crawl tube. Oh, no. Is this one all tore up? Do I need to get another one? Oh, I need to get another one. Damn it. All right. Well, time for a new crawl tube. Freaking tore holes in both of the sides of them. Couldn't stick the hook back in anymore. That's an L. All right, though, this thing lasted like five fish, a couple more bites. I'm impressed. I am impressed, chompers. All right, let's see where. Oh, there they are. Chompers. Love the packaging on these things. Just like this bright pink with yellow. Crazy, crazy. Fish chompers for bass, walleye, northern. You stand up jig heads, regular jig heads, Texas, Carolina, or walleye rigs. Nice. Good stuff. Table Rock Bait and Top Company. You make a good bait. All right, folks, that was going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Got back out there for a little bit. Trying to throw around that beast for a little bit. Didn't catch anything on that. Threw the craw tube around for a little bit more. Didn't get another bite on that. But it's right around 3 p.m. I got like a half hour drive, like I said, to get home. So I'm going to head on out of here so I can get home and get some studying done. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you guys like the content and subscribe if you want to see some more from me. But that's going to do it for me. I'll check and wreck them and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.